Hello there, I am Blackbright and I'm broadcasting out of the UK. Um, if it's the first time you're visiting my channel, then welcome, subscribe, like and share. Um, basically, I talk about different subjects. Um, sometimes it's just about informing people about what's going on, especially with regard to Jamaica, which is my background. Um, if it's regard to benefits, if it's it could be uh, immigration, it could be literally anything, anything that I think is of interest. So today, I'm back in Jamaica waters now. I did mention in the previous video that I did on the Dangerous Drugs Act about the Ship Rider Agreement. And I wanted to talk about this because um, the Ship Rider Agreement is what was in place when those five fishermen were arrested and inhumanely treated. It's also what was in place when the two fishermen were caught and taken and also inhumanely treated. So I don't know if Jamaicans know that a ship rider agreement exists if they go out to sea. Now, the ship rider agreement is in place and it's an agreement between America and Jamaica. And I don't understand. Well, I do understand. Because so I was going to say, I don't understand why you would have an agreement with people who you have a history of abuse not all of them, but you know, the people that they have, you have a sector of people who have, who are in positions of power and who abuse that power. Those are the ones I'm referring to. I'm not making a blanket statement. And so what's happening now is that the US Coast Guards, they have the power to get on any ship that's on Jamaica waters under the suspicion that they have drugs. And even if they don't have drugs, like with these five guys, they said that they they saw them throwing drugs in the water. They didn't bring these um, these drugs out of the water and say, look what we found. But that's what it seems to be. And then they, they call Jamaica the government. They say, look, we found um, five Jamaicans. The boat is registered to Jamaica and we'd like you to waive your jurisdiction so we can take them over. They then, Jamaica waives the jurisdiction, they then take the Jamaicans to America and abuse them in their prisons on the, on the way to America. And it's almost like they think they're back in slavery times. The way they're treating them is as though they've gone back in time. And so it's fine when you are dependent on um, a country because you cannot do the work, you don't have the infrastructure in place, but it leads it open to abuse when, you, when there's no oversight. And in this particular case, there's no oversight. It's supposed to be a Jamaican security officer on board who is supposed to negotiate with the Jamaican government and I, I guess to create some kind of balance and have a familiar face on the boat, but they're doing it without the Jamaican security officer. And even though it's not compulsory for a Jamaican security officer to be on board, I think it should be under the amendment. Anyway, let me read, now I've given you that little background, what I have here. Amidst the controversy surrounding the detention of five Jamaican fishermen, by the US Coast Guard in 2017, the government of Jamaica has decided to review the Ship Rider Agreement. Jamaica entered into the Ship Rider Agreement in 1997, which was brought into force by the passage of the Maritime Drug Trafficking Suppression Act, 1998. This act has since been amended twice, in 2005 and in 2016, and it's going through an amendment now. And I wa I'm wondering if the Jamaicans, who, the Jamaican fishermen, know that the Ship Rider Agreement is in place. I don't think they do. Anyway, the Ship Rider Agreement is a memorandum of understanding um, deter it... Um, for cooperation in deterring the movement of illicit drugs through Jamaican territorial waters. Under the agreement, the US Coast Guard can board suspected ships in Jamaican waters.
The agreement is meant to deter illicit drug trafficking through Jamaica territorial waters from South America to the US. It also allows for cooperation in shipboarding, ship riding and overflight. That means they can swoop to you from any angle. Which means, um, second claim, that drugs have been thrown overboard, but I haven't heard of any proof in that. Those are allegations. To reinforce the operation, the US Coast Guard law enforcement detachments operating from Pacific foreign government ships can board suspect, suspected ships in Jamaican waters. It also speeds up the provision of technical assistance, including drug detection technology, between the two countries and puts a framework in place for the exercise of jurisdiction in each nation's continuous zone. Importantly, it ensures greater protection, allegedly, for civil aircraft, including an agreement that neither the US nor Jamaica will use force against a civil aircraft in flight. Sounds a bit heavy, that does, doesn't it? So this ship rider agreement, it it seems to be something that could affect um, aircrafts in the area. I wonder if Jamaica knows the depth of this ship rider. Anyway, they're intelligent people, so they must do. Anyway, I'm going to put a link underneath. Foreign Affairs Minister Senator Kamina Johnson-Smith disclosed plans to review the agreement while admitting that more could have been done to follow up with the case involving the five Jamaicans. They were really let down. Can you imagine being taken by US Coast Guard? They don't allow you no phone calls. They strip you. They give you some old rags to put on. They handcuff you. They half starve you. They take you to a place where you don't even know. And then when you're hoping that the Jamaican embassy or someone is going to step in and intervene and support you, you hear nothing. You're at the mercy because Jamaica has waived their rights. I'm glad they're looking into it. But can you imagine if their voices had not been heard? They could have been going on. Who knows what's happened to other people? We don't know. Under, under the current law, the United States of America provides assistance to Jamaica through the so-called Ship Rider Agreement, which I said before. First, the United States may have on board its vessel a Jamaican security officer, the Ship Rider, who provides author, authorization for pursuit and search within Jamaican waters. And like I said, I think they sh it should be compulsory that a Jamaican security officer is on board. It was under this agreement that the government waived primary jurisdiction in respect of five Jamaican fishermen who were taken into custody by the US Coastal Guard in 2017 in Haitian waters. Four of the men have brought a case against the US Coast Guard for alleged mistreatment following their arrest and detention. The American Civil Liberties Union, a ACLU, has agreed to provide the men with legal representation and the matter is now before the Court of Law in the US. So for them to take it up, they must know that they have a strong case. And like I said, where's the evidence? You can't just jump on people on a ship and assume everybody is drug trafficking. Some people are genuinely fishing. Although... Why don't we Haiti, you know? Boy, I tell you something. Just stay in your zone, yes, yeah, sir. Stay in your zone. Don't go out. They're out there waiting for you. <sighs> Minister of Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade Senator, the Honourable Kamina Johnson-Smith, who made the announcement on the 25th of June, that's just two days ago, during a press briefing, at her offices in New Kingston, noted that the review of the Ship Rider Agreement will be done to ensure that Jamaican citizens are treated in a humane manner and that their human rights are protected. It's a bit about locking the door after the horse has bolted, isn't it? But at least for future Jamaicans going out to sea. But mind you, just stay close to home. 
When, God, when the government of Jamaica waived its primary right to jurisdiction, it did not waive the rights of its citizens to be treated humanely. We are committed to reviewing the process to ensure that we have no inadvertent gaps and where they are found that they be closed, she said. This is Johnson Smith. <clears throat> I think, well, I know colonialised Caribbeans, the older generation, they still look to white people in power as being fair and just. It doesn't occur to them for some reason that they might abuse that power or that the people that they are delegating the power to, even though the people that you may interact with are not abusing their power, there are the underlings who are abusing power in a lot of cases and so these are the ones that you know they're not aware of or they're naive to I get it that Jamaican does not have the final uh, nor infrastructural capacity to adequately monitor and secure its 240,000 square kilometers of maritime space Wow, that's a lot of space, which is almost 25 times its land mass. So they have to pass the buck to partner countries who may not have Jamaican citizens' best interest at heart. We'd like to think they do, but experiences have shown that, you know, it's not good. The five fishermen were intercepted on alleged suspicion of being in possession of and transporting illicit drugs. The vessel was confirmed as registered in Jamaica and the men confirmed that they were Jamaicans to the US Coast Guards and a request was received by the government of Jamaica for a waiver of jurisdiction. The waiver was granted subject to conditions laid down by the government of Jamaica, including confirmation of the good health of the men assurance that they would be made aware of their right to consular assistance and assurance that they would be provided with legal representation in any criminal prosecution. And Johnson says, I can indicate categorically that we received written confirmation from the US authorities that these requirements would be met. I'm sure you did, con Johnson Smith, but the people who write those, that information are not the people doing the job. How can you just take the words of a letter and assume that everything's going to go to the book and not check and double check on your citizens? Especially with the history as it has been. Ah, oh dear. The American Civil Liberties Union has filed a lawsuit against the US Coast Guards for the alleged inhumane treatment of the fishermen. Senator Johnson Smith noted that the current case brought by the Jamaican fishermen represents a significant juncture in the implementation of the agreement. And given the concerns arising from the case, the Jamaican government will have to review the protocols and procedures to ensure that our citizens are protected. And that's all for now. Bye-bye.